Hey there, Julian from Memberstack here, and in this video, I want to talk about something that Webflow announced yesterday on Wednesday, December 11th, and they announced quite a few things related to their pricing, to their overall product direction, but what I want to talk about in this video is the deprecation of user accounts, and what this means is that if you have a site that uses Webflow user accounts for you or for your client, you have until January 29th, 2026 to migrate everything onto another platform. Now, that doesn't mean you can't continue using Webflow. Everything that you've set up in Webflow is going to remain there perfectly fine. But all of your login forms, your redirects, all of those things, and the gated content that's handled by Webflow user accounts is going to be gone. It also means, if you don't migrate by that date, your users are also going to be gone. So first thing that I want to touch on just a little bit is why Webflow is doing this to begin with. Now, I'm not a spokesperson of Webflow. I work for Memberstack, so you may feel that this is biased. That's totally up to you. Now, Webflow has stated that they want to head in an ecosystem first approach when it comes to tools like this. And what that means is if you're familiar with WordPress, which Roughly half of the websites on the entire internet are powered by WordPress. It is by far the most popular way to build a site in existence. And if you know anything about WordPress, you know that when you install WordPress, there's basically nothing. Everything is handled by third-party plugins, themes, so on and so forth. You might be thinking, well, that sounds a bit messy and a bit expensive. And yes, that's a potential downside of taking that approach. That being said, it also allows room for companies like Memberstack, for example, who all we focus on is this, is authentication, is payments, is gated content. This is all that we do, whereas the Webflow team has a lot of different things to focus on. So Webflow is hoping that by taking an ecosystem first approach, that companies like Memberstack will be able to thrive and provide you and other Webflow customers with the best possible experience for their needs. So that is a bit about why Webflow is taking this direction to begin with. Now let's talk about what you are going to have to do. So for now, nothing changes. You have until January 29th, 2026. That is the cutoff date. What is going to happen on this date, on January 29th, 2026, is everything that you have with Webflow user accounts is going to be gone. That includes your form UI, that includes your members, that includes your subscriptions, that includes everything that you have set up with Webflow user accounts. Your Webflow site and everything within it that's, that's not touching user accounts will remain the same, but all of that stuff is going to be gone. So there are a couple things that you need to do in the meantime in order to prepare yourself or your clients for this without obviously losing out on major revenue, annoying customers, so on and so forth. So as you can see here, Webflow has announced that they are recommending their top partners, which is us at Memberstack along with Outseta. Also a great product. I'll let you listen to their video for that when they make one. Um, but when it comes to member stack, if you want to use something which allows you to have full design control, still use those exact forms and everything that you were using with Webflow memberships, then you're probably going to want to use member stack. So if you are migrating to member stack, then there are a couple things that we are here to help you with. So if you go to the link in the description, then you're gonna find this page where first things first, if you're migrating a site from Webflow user accounts to member stack, we will give you 50% off for six months. That is the first thing that we're trying to do in order to make this migration the smallest bit of a pain for you, your clients and your team. Now, along with that, remember what I just said about the login forms, forgot password forms, all of that UI. Not only can you still continue to design in Webflow, but we've also made these converters, which you can find here at this page, where all you need to do is copy your Webflow UI, let's say your native Webflow login form, paste it into this tool, go back into Webflow on another page, paste it in, and it will already be ready for you to use with member stack attributes. From there, you can add on a whole bunch of new features that Webflow user accounts did not have to begin with, such as social authentication like Google, passwordless auth, and all other things. But these converters are going to help you get to the exact same point that you were at before. 
and then you could just build on that. And along with that, what we're offering to some customers is a free white glove migration service. And that means that myself and other members of the member stack team are on standby to help you get everything migrated over. So if you want that, you can simply apply, go to this page, click the apply now link and fill out the form. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, which is pretty important, is your customers and your subscriptions. So I have some really, really great news when it comes to member stack. Webflow user accounts works using Stripe and their customer IDs. And along with that, it works using their subscription IDs. So if you start using member stack, you can actually import all of your members and all of their subscriptions directly over to member stack. So they will have zero interruptions in their billing. They won't have to enter new payment information, nothing like that. It's all going to be done for them when you import the members, which is super, super important. So that's it. I know this is probably going to be a little bit difficult for both you and for your clients, as you probably weren't foreseeing having to migrate in any way, shape, or form. But just so you know, myself and the rest of the member stack team are here to help you out with it. So if you have any questions or any thoughts on this, feel free to leave a comment. I'm looking forward to hearing what you think about this whole thing about what we're offering. And if there's any way that we at MemberStack can help you more throughout this migration, then please don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you so much. And I will see you soon.